I'm going to hit the record button. As you could see, my clock says it's eight and I have my record button on. Thank you very much for making it time. In fact, you came in earlier than me. Uh, it's, it's a surprise and as well, it makes me feel good. Thank you. Good. Let's go get started and uh, let's get our hands dirty. We started off this on Wednesday when we, uh, we messed up our hands with a few databases. Like the context was to pick up group of emails, right? Going in bulk, one to many. And then we started hunting email addresses on the web. We also not just hunted, but we also identified what are the challenges that we will encounter. Validation could be one of those problems where we don't know who's active email and who's not. Was it Annie or uh, somebody with the A asked you a question saying, can we identify not just the validity of the email? Can we identify if these people are active? Which is, I think it was Annie. Yeah, if you really notice that question, it's that's one of those. Yeah, there you go. Annie acknowledges Annie. Yeah. <clears throat> and uh, it, it was the right question, right? Because today the challenge is not about the databases. Databases are dime a dozen. We'll have all sources to pick up all the databases that we want. But at the end of the day, how, how do we know that these people are still using those email addresses? But when it comes to corporate email addresses, that is by default validated because if Annie is working for a company and represents a company, you bet she is going to be having that email ID. If not, the company by default will kill the email ID and make sure that the email mail exchange is not existing. If the mail exchange is not existing for an executive who has quit the company and joined another, it will definitely show up it's a bad email. That happens very easily with a corporate email ID. But when it comes to public domains like Hotmail, Gmail and Yahoo, AOL, it is literally impossible to identify whether the person is really active and should we just go about validating emails. That's the only criteria that we see there or the challenge we see there in terms of bulk extractions of email. We not only saw the procedures on how we can do that using LinkedIn or not using LinkedIn, generally pinging, pinging uh, Google and picking up a handful of information. Now, the other question is, are there any sources that I can just go to and quickly buy a handful of data? The answer is, yeah, yes, you can. Let me show you some sources that you can go ahead and procure because these people spend a lot of time. They have data mining team. They have softwares. They have technology to support them to scrape the web. They compile them and they also sell it at a price. And that's legal, right? If you can go ahead and look at company uh, data, if I work for a company and let's say Rohit works for another company, uh, our data can be compiled by a third party and they can sell our data. Yes, there was a case in uh, Zoom Info 10 years back. Zoom Info was uh, sued by an employee whose data was available on Zoom Info. That's a company called Zoom Info, which procures all the databases and puts everything into proper shape and order using Google search, right? Uh, voice, mine is perfectly fine. I'm singing to me ho, right? Uh, <clears throat> yes, I'm, hope, uh, I'm hoping that you will also get to hear soon. Fix your internet. Okay, so Nick, going back, uh, going back into Zoom Info's case, Zoom Info was sued by an employee saying, my information, my company, how is this guy uh, really having that data stored? I have not given them any permission. When the case went back to court, the court actually uh, concluded stating that any company, any third party which is using technology or manpower to compile information which is freely available for uh, anyone to see is perfectly fine. It's legal. The second verdict was, if it is a company's information that we're picking up out of Google or public information, that's absolutely okay because companies are existing to be knocked and to find out if those people are interested in our services or not. If they're not interested, they can always express disinterest and say that we're not interested, don't pursue anymore. That's a door open for pretty much all the data vendors, data compilers, data harvesters, data scrapers, Whatever names and fanciful names that you can title them as, please go ahead. But at the end of the day, we have a go ahead from the government body stating if it's a corporate email ID, we are okay to compile them, store them, and also part that with to somebody else for a certain price. Legally allowed. My company, Lead Sourcing and Email Marketing, is registered under the same clause saying compilers and sellers and broadcasters. 
right? Which means I can use that same information to broadcast emails, SMSs, WhatsApp, and any sort of broadcasting that I want to do. That's exactly the clause we are registered as well. So which means we also have the license to go ahead and compile any freely available information that's not violating any rules and regulations. Who are those service providers in India? One of those known service providers would be Fundu Data. If you go to Fundu Data and inside Fundu Data, you can go ahead and categorize. You can pick up any industry vertical. Uh, like, for example, as you could see here, which industry type are you looking for? You can pick up advertising and media. I mean, generally anything that you are looking for. Then you can pick up the city that you want to go after, Bangalore, and you hit the search button. Quickly brings up all the information related to companies, close to around 289 companies that they know of, which is categorized under advertising and marketing. Uh, and now you have all the details here, which means it, it actually gives you saying, well, click here to get the phone number, click here to get the website. But if you actually go inside the page here, one dedicated page for the entire company, snail mail address, snail mail address of the company, the board line number of the company and the website. What it does not give you for free is the person who's working inside the company and the chairperson, the senior profiles inside the company, that data is actually hidden. Now, when you look at what we studied on the on the Wednesday module, if you pick up one of those strings that I gave you and modify it to pick up email addresses from this particular domain, you will pretty much get everybody who's working on the web, working on the inside that particular company and who is prominently available on the web all for free. But those people also know, but they also know that it's going to take some time before you compile them. So what they've done is that they have already given you all these. Absolutely. Everything is for free, only in India or worldwide. Fundu data is only for India, only for India, not worldwide as yet. Maybe they are trying to expand, but there are too many players in the marketplace for US, Europe. Europe, of course, is minimized now. Data.com has completely pulled out all the data out of uh, European countries. Not a single data is available. And so are many companies modifying it after GDPR. But before that, it was available for pretty much anyone for a price. OK, so you're looking at procurement. You can always go ahead. The, the pricing plans on the web is very different compared to a pricing plan spoken over a call. So you might want to fill up a form and ask the executive to call you and ask for a customized plan based on what your requirements are. You're only looking for 5000 data out of Indian profiles. Sure, they have a customized plan as well. You don't really have to pick up those one lakh emails and uh, you know pay up 25,000 rupees or 30,000 bucks a month. Not necessarily. You can always customize them. Ask the salesperson to give you a better plan based on your avail uh, your needs. 500 data is what I need. So sure, go ahead and negotiate and you get the plan there. This is for India. Are there any other portals that I can buy data from? Well, if you're looking at companies, uh, which is tier one, tier tier two and tier three, probably Fundu data will suffice. But if you're looking at that tier one, which is the uh, traders and small and medium sized companies, shop owners, then Gestile comes in handy. Gestile has pretty much all the information that you need. And of course, India Mart would be another service provider who reaches out to small and medium sized companies. That will be another source completely different in terms of how which tier your industry vertical companies belong to. And then thereafter, you can go ahead and pick those up. Do sites like that uh, just dial uh, do this also? Yes, ma'am. They also have, sir. They also have a plan where you can call the executive and they will give you the database if required and they will also make your company published on their portals every now and then who's asking for an inquiry about your services they will call your company name first and then also send the lead of the inquiry which was made on the phone to your phone number so there are many services that gestile comes up with those are some uh, places where you can uh, quickly pick up a handful of data suleka does the same promotes your company indirectly and also if anyone is inquiring about a particular service they also send you quick sms's these are some of the options which are available from data sourcing point of view here's another uh, for i mean they're not just one but many for us or any other north north america da data that you need if you go to google and of course big names whoers.com and you will see leads 
profiles, company, sales intelligence is what we promote. Please come here. Okay, so that's who was for you. Same, pretty much everything about uh, what uh, you saw in Fundu Data, industry vertical, the titles that you want to go after, the niche that you want to pick up, like the CEOs only or marketeers only, the mid range, any kind of segmentations you want to do, you're free to do it, but expensive. Who was? North America data, no problem whatsoever. Well, here we go. The other one is actually part of uh, part of Salesforce. You can always go ping data.com. Data.com is previously called um, a Jigsaw. Company was acquired by Salesforce. Uh, now Salesforce has actually integrated the entire data sets that they cloud collected, pulled in. It was uh, uh, crowdsourced data. People can come and add two, three email addresses of their contacts, which they know, and they can download any other CRM platform, Salesforce. Absolutely, man. So within Salesforce, you will have data.com. Um, I think I can show you sales dot, uh, Salesforce and data.com right now because we do have a login with them. Um, close to around 1.79, uh, 1,79,000, that's 179,000 uh, rupees is what you will have to pay for an entire year to procure this login. Now, if you pay 2 lakhs, that's uh, roughly around 2 lakhs there, you pay 2 lakhs, you have access to data.com. Now, using data.com, you can go ahead and uh, pick up data without any problem, uh, looking at certain uh, criteria that you uh, want to apply. Let me quickly log in and show you this. This is information. It is very important because sometimes the company would be willing to pay a dollar or so in order to get the niche profiling. So you don't want to avoid saying, uh, you know, there's no other place but only manual sweating. No, no, a lot of people have been in the game and played the game long, long time ago. And they have quite an amount of data that we can always go ahead and buy. They, it's shelved data. And they also check, cross-verify to make sure that it's all valid. Data.com, I access data.com and I pick up a location here. I go ahead and say India location, please. Okay, good. And now I say, uh, guys, I would like to see which industry. Maybe education industry. So I click on education industry. And I say, education industry, location India, please tell me how many companies. Now, it will run a check on the database and it quickly comes back saying, hey, close to around 5,000 data is what we have. And here's what we can give you. Ramesh, contact, first name, last name, email ID of the individual, direct phone number if it is available, if not a board number. These are all direct numbers, as you could see. This one is a board number. And this is exactly how the data comes in. Now, if you are familiar with your Outwit Hub, uh, and uh, there's a uh, restriction from data.com also. Data.com says, well, you can't really download too many of those data. 25 data downloadable on each day. Every day you get to download 25 data and move it to your Salesforce system. Or you want to download it on a CSV file, be my guest is, is what they say. But that's restriction, right? You're looking at 5,000 odd data and they're saying restricted. Oh, well, I think you need some help then. You bring in quickly the Outwit Hub that you saw uh, you know, on Wednesday and ask him for a little help saying, buddy, we need a quick little help here because looks like these guys are blocking my way through and I don't want to really be blocked. Right? Blocking is, um, I don't know how you take it, but from our end, when we know that that's the path we need to take and we have this blocks all over the place, we always find a shortcut. We want to find out if the main door is open or the windows are left open. And the answer is, yeah, most of the time there are many, many windows open and uh, people don't really uh, look upon that. So here we go. I'm looking at uh, data.com, um, preferably salesforce.com because it is inside salesforce.com. Data.com will only move you as a lead generation perspective saying, uh, please go to Salesforce and procure this. Okay, so I'm going to go log in again. waiting for it to come up. The other speciality about this particular tool is that it's not going to sit on your own IP, which means whatever home-based IPs that you have, it's not really displaying as your own IP. If you notice here on the top right-hand corner, it says I have my own IP, like in remote IP. So it's actually pinging in from a remote IP. Salesforce also doesn't know that it's me or somebody else. Uh, as long as I'm 
you know, as long as I'm on the outer side of the page. Yeah. Hey, hi there. <laughs> okay. I, I didn't notice you here. Okay, cool. So let me go. And uh, take a look. There you go. I'm inside. And I'm taking this guy's help saying 25 restrictions. You got to be kidding me after paying 2 lakhs uh, uh, change for uh, a Salesforce login. And on top of it, this type of restriction, not, not me, not me. So I'm going to go in here and say India, please. India data and all sectors, okay, because I'm trying to display uh, how you can extract more. So I'm going to go in here and say, guys, get me the data out. And it says, hold a second, I'm coming up. And you can see that the data is around here. And I want to go back and tell them saying, scrape, please. Okay, so we might want to just activate a few things here, which is the data.com scraper, which is by default on. I'm going to just turn it on. And there you go. There, there you go. I am picking up the data. Just sort the duplicates out, keep them in the order so that I don't have to shuffle them left, right, center. I picked it up. According to Salesforce, it has only shown me 25 records in one single page, and I'm going to go just browse. Not a single file has been downloaded from Salesforce, according to Salesforce login. But what I'm literally doing here is browsing, and I'm capturing. 50 contacts captured. I'm going to the next page now, and it'll tell me 75 contacts captured. Done deal. All I have to do is keep browsing. I sit down and uh, pick up my mug of coffee and then uh, probably if there is a music that you want to play in the background, play the music in and then uh, keep browsing. See, keep browsing, 100, keep browsing, 125, come on, yeah, 125, browsing, 150 and it goes on. So by the end of like six, seven hours, you know what, uh, yeah, that Tumiho is singing in the background. And I'm saying, yeah, yeah, boss, if not for you, I don't know what I would be. Okay, good. So that's something that you can do in the, in the back end and make your life a little more easier. Salesforce doesn't even know somebody is actually the James Bond here. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, as long as they don't know, you don't really have to uh, keep them, uh, give them a ping now. Don't, don't. That'll be illegal because I'm actually training you on every stuff that you really need to know and be equipped saying, uh, anything is possible. And that I am possible thingy that they say, say it's nothing is impossible. And this is what this, they meant. You know, the, the I am possible kind of stuff. Is this what you need to really know? But I've been given that quote saying uh, nothing is uh, uh, impossible. Nothing is impossible. But how boss? Who's teaching you how? No one. Uh, I've been in many, many training classes. I've been in Python classes. I've been in lynda.com. I've been in urimi.com. None of those uh, foreign Gora guys telling me, saying exactly what needs to be done. Everybody brings me to the door and says, this is what can be done. Everything is possible, but not a single instance saying, this is how you do it. So I've gone the other way around saying, if we are doing it, let's show them how to do it. Here we go. That's exactly how you do it in the back end. And you know the tools, you know what, uh, you know, uh, investments you've got to make. And once you're done, well, that's it. Uh, are you really going to reveal all the treats? Yeah, that's uh, you aren't seeing it now. Do I have to really put a banner saying this is uh, this is a trade secret number one, number two, and make a YouTube video out of that? No, uh, no, 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 no. I would have made money, but uh, not really drained you, isn't it? So let's go, let's go, let's go. Data.com you saw, and then of course there's another guy in the marketplace who doesn't like India, so you'll have to really play your game uh, in order to get a login with him. Uh, since we are also picking up the data like how he does, but he he has data scientists with him. I can't afford a data scientist. Can you believe that? The title of those individuals are called data scientists. And those people like, you know, chew up the search engine like nobody else's business. They look at the information, they scrape the information as and when it comes in and pings Google. So if Google is archiving it, Zoom Info will have it. Hunter.io and various other scraper builders are coming in. And I'm sure our Swarna, Swarna, if he gets in there, uh, he's definitely going to come back and knock me down. Uh, and uh, probably, yes, we will mutually work together. Recording is on. Beware. <laughs> okay, yeah, I mean, uh, that's the truth. So you got to go get, do whatever it takes to actually get that stuff done. 
So Zoom Info also has a lot of uh, company information that you can actually ping. And none of it is actually available for free because these guys are protectively saving their databases. So jumping the wall would mean uh, illegal. And Google also says, sorry, any wall that is protective, I'm not going beyond that. So if Google has it, we sure will uh, definitely will look at uh, different perspectives on getting it. For now, they're all paid subscriptions and we'll have to go there to get them. These are some known names in the marketplace who are ready to sell the data at a certain cost and a subscription and then you go back in the back end to pick up some tools and get your harvesting done. Group bulk extractions. Good. Now, also we saw the free ones, how you can do it. Now, the most common things that I've seen with uh, the training is that initially you're very well pumped up looking at all the information. That's because you're you're actually seeing somebody at work, you're not working. If I were to put you on the task saying, here's Google, here's your laptop, here's your Google Chrome, here's your internet, get the job done. That's when you will start to shiver. That's when you will start to make a lot of mistakes. That's when you cannot connect the dots better. Now, I've seen this commonly available with most of them. So whatever strings you learned so far, in about seven days, it's going away. Or not seven days, to be precise, 21 days. Before 21 days, if you haven't practiced at least 10 times, it's going to go out of your memory. Because according to your mind, it has to clean up all the dirt that you haven't used in the last 21 days. Every 21 days, you get some fresh cells back. So that means whatever you're learning right now has to be implemented, has to be put to use, and it has to be consistent. And when you're doing it, your mind gets the feedback saying that this is information that you want to regularly use it, and hence it will stay in, uh, in your backup system. If not, wiped clean and it says only when required, with a little difficulty, we will get you back that data. If not, it's going to be in the archive. Uh, for further information, please watch the movie called Inside Out. It was a Pixar's movie. Uh, it gives you a lot of information about how your uh, memory power works. That's some psychology stuff right there. And the answer is yes, and it's the truth. 21 days precisely. Good. Now let's go back after that's one of my favorites yeah no wonder yes i love that movie too yeah the memory buckets remember yeah those memories are two very 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 crucial balls they keep it they keep it as they call it it's very important to keep a close watch on those uh, those stuff red color blue color green color with all the emotions inside it if not it's going to wipe out clean but in case if that happens here's what you need to do just remember Recruit, recruit me or recruit them, recruit them. You're trying to recruit somebody. Oh, you get the spelling, E is out. So recruit them. You type that recruit them and you get this particular URL. Click the URL. I'll send you the URL for now. Just know saying in case if everything wipes clean, you might want to go back here. <laughs> yeah, the elephant stuff is what will happen. Uh, and, you know, that's the doll that you don't really use after some time and it goes off. OK, so once you come in here, click the LinkedIn because that's what you want to use for scraping the uh, scraping out of Google. So use LinkedIn, come in here and it starts asking you some questions. Answer them. Like, for example, what's your country? The country that you want to mine data for India. What's the job titles you're going after? Marketing. And it will quickly populate a few more titles for you because not everybody is aware of what type of titles in the companies exist. Now, it quickly helps you saying, are you looking for marketing directors or marketing managers? Who are you looking for? Well, marketing directors and similar looking jobs as well. Please go ahead. And what kind of location, right? Is there any breakdown that you want to build in? Sure. Delhi. Um, let's go type in Delhi. Would you like to exclude certain activities? Like, for example, general search engines like the job and the jobs. Would you like to remove them? Yes, please take them out. Is all candidate OK or you want some special uh, titles in here? I don't know what is the use of this because I just have this and I don't know what to do with that. Uh, none of it. It doesn't help me on a day to day basis. You, you, you might think that it's helping me in my communication. Definitely not. Uh, it is definitely not. This is a very different hard work that we do for getting the communication as well. This is waste of time, I must say. Uh, is the 16-year-old listening? No, no, but it's good. See, as long as you have the uniforms, everybody respects you. 
it's not about the rules and regulations right you got to have the uniforms too so bring in different uniforms doctorate phd and blah 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 get all the uniforms required but use it when you really really need it for now i am just looking at a gentleman who can come to the office open up his laptop and start getting the job done that's it period no room for uh, discussion there that's it and i'm going to go click the button saying get that particular individual show it to me on the web it says show sure, here are two things that you can do one copy this entire url paste them in the navigation bar or simply click the button open okay sure i click to open and now it quickly formed the entire string for me so i don't have to remember what i need to type site linkedin.com space and then cool in and 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 nothing required just go ahead type and the string is formed already showing up the data for you saying these many people available sir what the tool doesn't know is that along with the profile there are email addresses too so you go to the end of that particular string give it a space and then say hunt gmail accounts please search now the same string we have an alter a ninja and then it goes and picks up email addresses too as simple as it can be okay then after this is done you go back and uh, pick up hotmail uh, yahoo and read if and blah 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 and anything else that you need to do uh, please come back again go to the string after the string is formed you click the space at the end of the string and type in your domain that you want to pick up emails and now it starts to pick up and show up email addresses too previously it was not having email addresses because the tool did not give you the string to get that done i'm sending you that code as well uh, please take a look at it and keep a close watch on those these are easy techniques to remember stuff that you want to really remember when you uh, when the need comes in you can always form the string tweak the string as well when you know that it's already calling out marketing directors and uh, minus the jobs in the title you're looking for profiles if you don't want this you can always remove them and test them out be creative and it's pinging in site linkedin.com or another so you might want to remove all those clutter and say just ping the linkedin.com and see how many you get in and it goes on you can keep tweaking the profile as much as you want if you think that the jobs is going to get you more sure be my guest take that out as well you haven't formed a single thing out of memory all you're trying to do is whatever it was already done is what is being captured if you think that the linkedin.com coming in the beginning could have got you more results sure try that as well now take this from the back which is behind the string there put them in the front and then now search for it it hasn't made any difference there in so in terms of searches so let's try the linkedin.com with the in as well or oh, it definitely made a lot of changes there it doubled my search results and now i can see more results likewise keep tweaking till you get a satisfactory number of emails that you want to look for and once that is done job done go ahead and look for various other domains so so string alterations string uh, string uh, tweaking can be done here no problem whatsoever now the other part too which we just said after the group uh, you know extractions we want to go back after one to one extraction so if i'm looking at sandeep kaur uh, kaur marketing director for this particular company i want to go back and pick up his email address not the personal one not the gmail but his professional email id how do i do that that's where we uh, have to learn today so let's spend a day around that and see what else can be done i'm closing the chapter with your uh, with your group extraction what i wanted to do is add a few more things uh, to your group extraction and that's why i had to bring in the group first and then i jump back into your one to one extraction everybody okay with that uh, i have 30 people and i hope the internet is audible okay great so let's go let's go let's go thank you very much thank you very much i am closing that chapter uh, let's go and uh, focus on the one to one extraction this is a good example here so i'm going to go pick this guy up and say if we were to hunt sandeep what are the procedures that we'll have to take okay totally cool you are boss you are <laughs> uh, we just want to make sure that everybody is okay so in the trading and corporation we want to find out if this people really uh, exist do they have a domain do they have an email how many people work all of that whatever data possible we want to do some footprint uh, footprint gathering yeah we call it like an investigator uh, gathering the footprints or the breadcrumbs left by the company
today everybody leaves not crumbs a lot of burgers around we have to just go ahead and find them because they think it is search engine optimization blah 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 yes the more backlinks you create the more press releases you make the more information about your company you uh, drop on google it's making easy for us to find while you're doing that you're leaving behind a lot of clues about who you are what you do and plenty of other stuff that's what we are after okay so any company that has a website is by default trying to trying their best to optimize it for google search engine and we want to use that same trail of information and find out a little more info about their contact details let's go and see how we can do that indo trading and corporation copy we are after sandeep there drop the company name what we're trying to find out here is do they have a website how large is the website where where are they well it says this is the snail mail address of the company here's the board line number quite easy job done you just call this number and ask for sandeep sandeep will be around make a story up to actually reach him saying that we had an appointment today can i just have a word with sandeep job done security bypassed and now the phone rings at sandeep's desk can you start your pitch okay so the case is closed but you can also do that via email so let's see how we can do that via email he is on various places the company is actually on manta.com which is also another compiler uh again but i don't know if these guys sell the data but it's all available for free if you can just go ahead and browse through uh every information is available for free yeah tradeindia.com and that's a new delhi company so the company's profile is actually here as well so i open this up and then i want to find out if that's the the actual uh, domain of this tradeindia.com okay so keep that in mind the this is a place that they have had some ad article there and here's an, another information uh, from 411 that's another data compiler okay um executives uh, ceo's email is actually here uh, or not uh, the email but definitely yes the uh, the ceo's name first name middle name last name uh, that's in the just in case if you want to really look at the ceo of the company so what are the information that is available yeah bharat info online some backlinks they would have created uh, any website that has good domain authority and page rank they'll go after that and drop an article there i will find some more information uh, about that particular individual or the company so i'm trying to find out more about sandeep here let me see if i can get in uh skip okay so this is about the company uh, launched in the year 2012 they have around 3 employees 2012 and this is what they do i believe and here's some more information about them uh aman jain is a supplier that's the contact information uh, available at least that info is available but we don't know much about them tradeindia.com is not probably their own company but they are just a company which is actually calling out uh footprints like india mart giving out a small page subdomains for them each one of them and they don't have their website of their own it is very interesting stuff uh let's see if i can quickly pick up uh this gestile again breaks up uh, information about them but they don't have their own website director marketing copy this as well the snippet says bangalore address yes ma'am they are in bangalore they are in bangalore but they don't have their own web website so if you're looking at that information and if these guys are on linkedin first thing that you'll have to pitch in is to get a website for themselves and tell them saying hey how come you you look so very solid and strong inside uh, linkedin but when it comes outside you don't even have a web portal of your own because it's a three member employee i don't know if it's a shell company or whatever company but end of the day they are there we want to find out what they are into they are on dark web also security firm hmm it's getting interesting so no wonder why they don't have their own footprints uh, okay let's go let's go um and i don't see any information about the website at all so when they don't have a information about the website it's literally impossible to find who this gentleman is agree disagree if you don't have a web portal it is definitely going to mess up in terms of what these guys do in the back end they don't have a web portal at all so let's go ahead and see one last try to see if there's any other possible way to get them in no not at all 
scroll down and they should have kept some web page here add a website and that's missing google is already calling out saying guys get get a get a particular web portal for yourself okay so they don't have one so i'm not really um in the trading company so some footprint that's the nearest oh wow uh, cricket and wireless mm -hmm. nice <laughs> Uh, I think uh, they should have been in LinkedIn only. Yeah, we had some good uh, uh, name there uh, to look at. But looking at this, this is B pass educated, uh, B graduate. Uh, some computer science they do know. That's how the site looks like. Yeah, this is how they build it. Whoa, whoa. Uh, okay. Uh, this is definitely B graduate. B electronics, B computer science. Oh, and it's on Wix, by the way. Okay. Interesting. I'm sure they don't have a mail exchange for sure, because if it's created on Wix all over the place, it's a free web portal. Uh, it's a funky site. <laughs> oh, yeah. L look at them. Uh, you know, they've got some HTML5 videos and all. I'm sure that's a predefined video that's running in the back end. Uh, but let me see if there's emails. It says it's a stationary store. Uh, so I doubt if they have any plans for a web portal stationary store man i think it's it's a software company something like that a wireless retail company yeah a uh, my wireless retail company so you you i'm sure by the wording you know uh, what it means uh, okay cool a uh, my mm, interesting so uh, one final shot in terms of that particular domain they had wanting to find out if they have any web uh, what do you call uh, footprints on the email no, so the Google search uh, store. Oh, okay. Great, ma'am. Uh, but again, it's not as good as they uh, sound on LinkedIn, ma'am, is what we can find right now. Okay, let me see if there's any emails here. You know, they're on Facebook. That same thing is I actually pasted on Facebook too. Um, here we go. Some more places. But no email addresses as such. Not at all. Okay, so this gentleman is impossible to trace them, but the nearest that I can do is find out if Sandeep is around. Sandeep at so and so. Yeah, oh, you bet. Oh my goodness. That was a random search. Trust me, I had no plans of really getting his email right there, but looks like that's, the, that's his email ID. Yeah, Sandeep. And uh, Sandeep had a last name, Sandeep Kaur. That actually seemed staged. Yeah, it sounded like, isn't it? But I, I'm actually doing it live. I'm, I'm, I'm just trying to, <laughs> I'm just trying to find out this guy out of LinkedIn search, and he was right there. But <laughs> look at this, uh, look at this. You know, Sandeep, and then followed by the domain. I was about to give up, but this is a random search that I did, saying maybe Sandeep. If Sandeep had not worked, I would have picked up the last name too, Sandeep Kaur which is the second name, I would have dropped that in. And it leads me to the LinkedIn profile directly saying that's the LinkedIn profile of his, but no trail on the email ID. So Sandeep it is. I almost lost my hope. Me too. I was I was about to, but looks like he's around. But how do we know it's a valid email? How do we know that he exists there? We don't know. So let's find out. There's a one-to-one -one pinger that you can always use while you're doing this one-to-one -one hunting. And he does the job fairly uh, neat, uh, effic efficient, should we say? That's guy. That guy is mailtester.com. So you bring this guy and ask him, saying local part and domain part. Remember, that's what we were discussing uh, on Wednesday. We want both this, uh, both the, uh, both the uh, verifications to be done, both the elements to be verified. So I'm going to go click the button here, saying verify. Oh, you bad time, right? Mm -mm. It sounds like it's staged, but I had no clues that I'm going to find him. And by the way, it's hosted on MX. Uh, MX is hosted on Google. So he must be using uh, gmail.com to ping his own emails and, and get the stuff done. Job done. Now give me another test. Because this definitely looked like I was really hunting the guy who I already know. I had no clues that this gentleman is around here. Uh, well, if you give me another... I'm going to actually go after from the from a blank state again. It actually did. Yeah, I know. I know. But you know the truth. So come on. Give me give me some names. Any corporate peer person working here? Let's go ahead and uh, ping that person and fi find out what uh, what we can do. Hunt a Microsoft guy. <laughs> okay. You have a name? 
mm, Microsoft Tech. That will lead to technology and all that. Um, tech support, no. Okay, so Sumit from uh, Abhishek. Oh, okay. So let's see Abhishek. Hold a second. I'm coming there. Harsh. Uh, let's see Abhishek. Abhishek is a software engineer at uh, Abhishek Shantakumar, his name is. So that's his first name and last name. So we already have crossed one level. Uh, Abhishek Shantakumar. Uh, I hope he's the gentleman that we are looking for, or I don't know if it's the second one. But we will hunt anybody out of Microsoft. That's the that's the whole game. He's also a CTO. Uh, okay, so where are you leading me to, Swarna? Uh, okay, anyway, we will try and find out. So the most common thing that we can do here is to look at the first name, last name, and quickly com you know form a combination, saying maybe at Microsoft.com. But is it is that how it's going to be? Well, I need to find some footprints before I uh, say that. Uh, Microsoft.com. And I'm looking for Abhishek. If it's Shantakumar, it's good. But let's try and see all Abhishek's first and then we figure out the other last name stuff. Okay. Microsoft.com. Abhishek and Jane. Abhishek S.C. Kumar. He's on Twitter. Uh, Vipul at Microsoft.com. So this is a very clear indication saying that they have footprints around Microsoft.com. There is no in.microsoft.com or us.microsoft.com differentiating geographies. Uh, people from the United States will be called with uh, .us and .co and uh, uh, Taiwan TW. It's not like that. It is Microsoft.com. So you must be Abhishek at Microsoft.com, the nearest guess. So let's go. Drop this in, pick up and find out if uh, Abhishek is around. Or well, you bet he is, but is he the same Abhishek? Um, well, we don't know. Abhishek Shantakumar. Um, Shantakumar, I think. Yeah. Shantakumar. And it goes here, but no email ID on that particular uh, you know, instance. No email here too. But Abhishek Shantkumar actually has an underscore and the Twitter ID. So I'm going to go copy this as well. This is going to be another crucial information for me from his Twitter profile. And then I see more of that information back. I saw something else with the underscore. Maybe it's again the Twitter ID. Um, yeah, it's a Twitter ID, not an email account though. Scrolling down furthermore. Okay, I don't see any footprints around that. I am quickly going to go ahead and make this 100 pages so that we can filter out uh, one uh, all at one page. Uh, scroll down, pass the exam, stock in there. Uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, Twitter is already there right now calling out. I'll, I'll give you another clue there what needs to be done on the Twitter profiles that you get to see. Uh, we'll see. Stay with me. Okay, I'm done with this exam. A certificate garbage is the boss okay cool uh, i'm gonna go say control c and uh, yeah <laughs> I, I got the pass certificate i guess okay so email reaper um just go ahead and show me what you have in here shantakumar hp uh, there's another shantakumar probably but not the same shantakumar how many emails did we find uh, moving go to meeting 13 of them so i'm sure it's easy go easy to go ahead and sort this out Abhishek at Microsoft seems to be one of those that shows up again. Uh, we might want to uh, make sure that that's him uh, by sending out an email. That's the only way that we can find out because here I can see Swamia is around. Uh, Shashik is also around and it's all Microsoft.com. So let me see if Abhishek and Microsoft is actually a working email ID. Copy. Uh, jump back here. Mail. Tester. Drop. Check. Oh, you bet. You bet. Now, I don't know if uh, Swarna is actually in, uh, Swarna is in touch with um, uh, Abhishek, but if he is, then I'm sure he will know. And uh, in case if he's not, then probably an email to him would help us get that done. Good. Let's go with the Adobe one. You clear with that exercise? Let me know, please. We go hunt uh, Sumit now. Sumit Singh. 
Okay, cool. I hope the rest of the gang is also catching up because I can only see some known profiles by default. They always answer. Uh, Arshita is new. Okay, it was fun getting him. Okay, cool. I'm happy that you say that. Omkar is here. Okay, Nidhi. Uh, too many Nidhis that I know, so I don't know which Nidhi this is, but uh, welcome aboard. Okay, cool. Let's go here and take a look at uh, Sumit now, please. Sumit Singh, technical support engineer. He is at Adobe Systems. Okay, so Adobe Systems. Uh, and I want to know what is the domain name. See, you might think that I'm actually randomly typing out uh, a flow here. Now, here's the you know secret again. I should put the headline. Trade secret. Okay. So, the trade secret is I'm not randomly like a jugard looking at information. No, no, no. No, there is a process. Here's the process. The process is to first look for the company. So, we know it's Adobe Systems. Okay. Because in case if they have another branch, uh, we're not going to go after. Yeah, seriously. It's not that Jugaad saying, uh, Kripa karke de do, uh, or uh, mein upar, uh, dekke, uh, I'll send a prayer across and then I'll be able to. No, 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 no. Give me a break. If it's uh, logic, if it's science, it has to work for you. It has to work for me. Here's the science. Look for the company name first. Then look for a website. If they have a website, then it is going to be floating on the web. And if they are SEO optimizing, it's even more easier for you to pick that person up. No problem whatsoever. And the other thing that we need to be carefully watchful for is most of the companies may not have the website as the mail exchange or the mailing domain. Because some companies will change that mailing domain based on the geography. For example, IBM is not IBM.com us.ibm.com in.ibm.com so us is us in is india and it goes on right so two letter word for location that the person is working in and then followed by the domain so there is a mailing domain that we'll have to look for and then finally look at the person so now you know it's not jugard it's not random searches whatever comes to his mind he's typing no 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 this is the process i will always follow by default because I learned this lesson in a very, very hard way. I was hunting for a company called PI Industry. This is long, long time ago. I'm talking about uh, four years history, PI Industry. And there was this gentleman, Baskar Anand, IBM. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I was looking for uh, PI Industries and look at this. It says PIIndustries.com. So the CEO, if it is Suresh or Mahesh, whoever that gentleman is, then I can go ahead and say Suresh at piindustries.com. That's what you will also conclude on. But you will not see one single trace of piindustries.com. So when I looked for piindustries.com and then I use my tool to go ahead and check and sort them out, saying what are the footprints are we really getting out of that PI uh, industries? Here's what I found. Look carefully. I'll blow this up for you. See there? There is PI industry that existed long time ago when they probably uh, in the inception stage, they brought in the PI industries and had a mail exchange as well. But sooner they realized that it's actually filling up the entire visiting card, one long lengthy line. They had to change it back. They now have PI ind.com and not the industries. So that's the mail, mail domain, uh, which is the mailing domain that will quickly change. Microsoft has, uh, Microsoft, for, fortunately, when we looked for, it actually had Microsoft.com. If it also had in.microsoft.com, then we are in trouble again. So we had to really make sure that we are hunting the right domain and then go ahead and pick up the right people. So then it becomes easier to go ahead and pick up any sort of names that we want to. And then we will know that these people exist in the marketplace or inside the company. And it's easy to target them. IBM.com, even the CEO doesn't have one. The CEO yeah, um, uh, of IBM and the lady, uh, I forgot her name, Jerry, somebody, uh, she also does not have uh, IBM.com, but she has us.ibm.com. Okay, now most of the CEOs have that celebrity thingy, uh, which they have this .com sites and all of that. But in, in the case of IBM, the actual working email ID is us.ibm.com and not the ibm.com. So this is your four-step process in terms of hunting one-to-one -one emails. Let's go uh, with the case of Sumit now, because he comes in from um, Adobe, uh, Adobe Systems. Okay, check. 
And now I'm looking for adobe.com and there is an in here. So I just want to be uh, careful that I may uh, want to find what are the footprints that I have about I adobe.com. Pick all of them up. Copy. It's easy with this tool now. We don't really have to go one by one. And it says I couldn't find a single entry. Okay, good job. Uh, email, please. Okay, control A, control C, copy, paste, extract. Oh, there you go. Okay, so initially it said no, but when it said email, now it picks up saying, hey, they are all working on adobe.com. Okay, good, makes sense. And what are the other information that I can see here? I can see that Adobe is actually using first letter of the first name and followed by the second name. Maybe that's what I can make out here. And the other one is Key James or Kevin James could be, right? So the first two letters of the first name followed by the last name. Let's find out, copy one of those email and then jump into Google, paste that here. Now you will get to see whether it is uh, James. Okay, so James is here, uh, but this is a CMO. Oh, wow. Okay, so let's go inside the CMO's page and find out what's his first name and last name. If not, it's Kelsey James. Uh, maybe, yeah, Kelsey or Kelsey, Kelsey, yeah, James, and that's uh, the name there. Yeah, can be. Mm, yes, uh, let's see now. Uh, find KE James. Okay, there you go. I don't see it's an article submitted by him. He's a CMO, Chief Marketing Officer. Uh, yeah, there you go. He is the one that we're looking for, isn't it? He's a strategist as well for content. Uh, not maybe is now taken up and it's for sure that it's Kelsey. So any, anyone with a Kelsey, K-E starts off with. So if we're looking for Sumit and uh, we had his last name, did we? Sumit Singh. So it must be S-U and Singh. Uh, uh, S-I-N-G-H at Adobe uh, Adobe.com copy let's go yeah that's it um, maybe uh, we still don't know if there's any footprint for this gentleman let's go hunt couldn't find any uh, yeah, there is some, but not directly to Adobe. Okay, not yet. Not yet. That's the closest. So there is no footprints about that gentleman here in terms of he's not a CMO. He's not probably the chief marketing officer. He was a technical person, probably the back end gentleman there. But we have a few clues here saying that this is what it must be. So let's go drop that email and see if it's really uh, the right one. Okay, it says, yeah, very close, but I could not verify this because the firewalls are preventing me from verifying it. But the domain seems to be okay. It's coming out of Outlook, which is they're using uh, Microsoft 365. And you can also see that it's actually saying, I couldn't verify the local part here because the firewall don't allow me to actually do it. Now, what else can be done in such a case? There's another doctor who cares nothing about the firewalls and all that, but he just randomly picks up and finds out who that is. Uh, that doctor is called email verify. Uh, okay, verifier. Okay. Uh, hmm, not that one. Okay. And uh, you'll have many, but uh, you would need a free one to begin with. I think this is the one. So stay with me. Oh, yeah, this is the guy. So paste this guy in and say, OK, I'm not a bot. And he says, find traffic lights for you. OK. Failed. Um, OK. Pass. Failed. Okay, I'll go a little slow. Okay. All right. Now I'm a human. Okay, great. 
Okay, so there you go. It says, hey, uh, you, you, this seems to be valid. Uh, this is definitely valid. Here are some proofs that on how I identified it. I pinged them and I got a, a response back saying that this is a valid email. So, Harsh, if you know somebody there, I'm sure you can confirm. Uh, if not, please write an email to the Adobe gentleman. One-to-one -one extraction, ladies and gentlemen. Give me a heads up if you understood. We look at ways to simplify them very soon. Okay, so you might say, well, it's taking so long, yeah, Nityanand? Uh, yeah, absolutely right. Because this is a skill, you know? Skill meaning uh, your hands are now, you know, on the keyboard, you're typing, you're, you're, you're fidgeting with your keyboard and your mouse, and you're getting the job done. That's your skill. But the minute you say, I'm going to use a software, uh, that's not a skill, isn't it? A skill is not to use a software because anyone can be trained to how to use a software. Yeah, tomorrow the company will get to know that you're using or you're dependent on a tool and they will understand what tool that is and they will, they can fire you. They would say, thank you very much for your service. You can go home now because we know what type of tools you use and how seriously dependent you are on the tool. No, no, no that's not a skill then. The skill is without any assistance of tool, as long as the Google search engine and many other search engine, DuckDuckGo is taking the mileage, right? Sure, DuckDuckGo or any other Duck or Mama.com, uh, let, let that uh, search engine come in and we're going to actually work around in the back end to find out how this works. That's a skill. And now you can develop a product around it. Yeah. Imagine all these things that you can put on a program and you write a JavaScript or a Python script to get that work done. Well, I think you'll have a product now. Put a front face for it and then you start selling out uh, solutions to various companies and job done. So that's a skill. Here we go. Now let's go and see how we can, uh, you know, uh, look at simplifying the process. But we're not dependent completely 100% on the tool, but we will show you the tool though. Now just email him saying, hi, we stopped your email. <laughs> nah, you shouldn't do that. Uh, he is staying with me. Uh, uh, okay. Oh, right. Got it. Can you give your thoughts on vertical search with respect to what we are learning here, sir? What's a vertical search, ma'am? Uh, ma'am, a little more insights on the vertical search. The search is also going to be different, is it now? Oh, sorry, ma'am. I am not aware of this vertical search. It's focused on specific segments on the online content. They're also called speciality or tropical search engines. The vertical content area may be based on topical media type generic content. Oh, I think that's what we're hitting at, uh, hitting at but we don't have a name for it I, I, as of now. Thank you for putting a name to it. I just got to know that it's called vertical search. Yeah, so this is going to be somewhere around that. I did see if uh, as a requirement for marketing, like, oh yeah, the, being aware on the search engine, allowing you to know. Okay, now I didn't know they had a name for this map. Thank you for putting a name to it uh, because my gurujis keep saying, don't label anything. You've got to just see the way it is. So, um, yeah, I'm going into that particular phase. And hence, I don't really look for names around labeling anything. And that's why I'm not aware of that system. But here's what I normally uh, say. When a company has a web portal and they have this option on making it available on the top pages of Google, if they're one amongst the 100 pages, not beyond 100 pages, it's a little complicated to go ahead and f fetch them. But still... Out of the 100 pages, who is your Guruji? Oh, many, sir, many. Uh, I'll come to that topic soon after I complete this line of thought. Okay. Companies will do search engine and they will float on the surface. So if you're just running out some search engine, like uh, one or two uh, search keywords, you will find them very easily. But there are companies which are beyond 100 pages. Now, this needs a deep dive. And if Google is allowing you to do that deep dive, it'll be good. If Google is also preventing you to around 1,000 pages and not more than that, then this is how far you can go. So this can be now looked into a deep dive search. And what companies want you to know is not the deep dive. They want you to just go ahead and on the macro level, what's, whatever is floating on the web, can you pick them up? Do you know I have that skill to go ahead and look at keyword uh, you know, searches, phrase searches, exact search. They, they have some names for it, isn't it? Exact search, phrase search, and uh, what's the other one? Broad search. 
broad search. So these are some of those elements that they're looking at and they put a name to it now saying vertical search. Yeah, good. So that's exactly how deep you want to go in depending on what uh, tools and techniques you're going to be applying. Currently, whatever is on the uh, on the surface can be quickly picked up using whatever search engine uh, uh, keywords that you're typing in or the strings that you're typing in. You can also expand your search skills. Here's what you can do. It's called Google Operators. This is where we came up with our own search strings. And uh, this was a very helpful tool for us during that time. And I'm sure it must be to, uh, to a certain extent now also. This guy. Yeah, 2012. <laughs> okay, so the <laughs> 2011, I think we signed up with DV. Um, 2000 and no, 2000 and we are five years now. So which means 2013. 2012, we got this file in. And here's what it says. How you can master the X-ray searches on Google using certain operators. These are all keywords used by search engine optimizers. Now, if you go have a word with the, co the guys, they will tell you saying, this is in text, this is in title, in URL, keywords must be found. So they optimize all this. And now we are using the same technique back again to fetch the results that we want. I'll send you this link as well. This becomes like your... Uh, like your core tool to go back and redefine your own search strings and then come up and knock us down someday and say we're doing much better search engines now because we got this you know basic idea on what can be done here good god bless you here we go and uh, thank you for bringing up that vertical vertical search uh, i'm going to explore more soon after the class so we can go ahead and pick up anybody any tom dick and harry that's around on linkedin that you can see you follow that four-step process and you will easily find anybody on the planet. Now, you'll go back and tell me long time ago, this is exactly how uh, people were mastering the art of picking up anybody. For example, if you go to a company called, um, I mean, a website, let's go to Google and say uh, email and guesser. Okay, now email Okay, so email with a double S guesser. It brings up a particular URL. Can you see that? Email guesser. Pick that up. What it says is, if you know somebody and you know the mailing domain, which means your ground result or grounds research must have been done. And if you know that, it says, please type the person's name. We were looking at Sumit. And we were looking at Singh. And we also said he's coming out of Adobe. Dot com. Now, I don't have to do major research around here. It automatically goes ahead and forms all the typical 34 different combinations or 28 different combinations of all companies that are likely to use this particular format. Okay, now I can bring this into... Yeah, yeah. so the second one automatically fits in, is it? So let's see. It's not the second one because SU and followed by Sing. SU, S Sumit, that is... But I still don't see SU Sumit. Yeah. Um, what's the email ID that we came up with? SU Sing at Adobe.com. That's the valid one. But can you see SU here? Now, this is exactly how uh, people have started to form their email addresses. Nope. And the answer is you will never be able to find out with the old methods and practices that people were using. Uh, using email guessers or uh, typically formatting uh, a set of combinations that companies likely to use. No, no, no. Companies have understood this particular logic. And whenever they're coming up with mail exchanges, they're trying to overcome this particular typical format of formatting emails. First name, last name, first letter of the first name, and then the followed by the last name. All this permutation and combination is remote. Now, since that is remote, there must be new one. <laughs> the new one is expecting you to do a little more logical research because what it, what we did earlier is when we picked up the adobe.com, we picked up all the footprints out of Google. This is the footprints. Now, based on the footprint, we understood what is left behind. K-E and followed by James. That was a clue. We picked up that clue and found out what name format is that person in. And then when we found out that the name is actually the first two letters of the first name, then followed by the last name. Then we concluded saying, oh, okay, so this is the format you're using. Sure, let's try SU Sing. 
and adobe.com worked very well now do we have a formatting uh, tool like that and the answer is no the answer is no because if they put that tool in people companies will know standard i mean uh, large and uh, medium large and medium size companies will automatically know that this is how people are getting uh, you know uh, uh, formats done and they want to break free from that hp hp will make you run uh, hp has five or six different combinations you will never be able to find out who's actually with what combination so if you're going by hp uh, uh, yeah hp it's really really difficult to actually find the email addresses of the individual and most importantly the ones who don't really write newsletters or uh, press releases on the web to post them with their email it's tough but again doable doable you stick to the format saying let's gather the uh, breadcrumbs or the footprints once you gather the footprint it will give away a lot of cues around what type of formats they're using if it's five different combination try all the five different combinations with the mail tester in about 5 minutes you'll get to know which is the working one and which is not job done but like i said earlier i am possible is what people follow years out they saying it that it's possible because you're looking at the uh, you're looking at the core thinking and not the uh, the results that's found you are, we are getting you to see how we think when we are actually going after certain emails i hope it makes sense to all the 29 28 of you uh, if it does just let me know okay fantastic thank you very much now let's make the process a little more easier and let's more uh, let's make the process a little more easier the thing is that we need to use some tools because sometimes uh, you know the easily crackable vertical searches right <laughs> i'm going to be starting to use that now thank you for adding that into my vocabulary now okay so i'm going to be using certain tools to quickly come up with results and the ones that are difficult the entire company has to look for nityanand or uh, swarna or uh, sanyogita to see where those person is i mean where is that person is she on coffee wait for her to come she will get us the email id ah that's the dependency on the company trust me if you can do that and no one is going to fire you even if there is a situation where they'll have to issue pink slip for everybody they won't release that pink slip for you because you're the breadwinner yeah today if somebody says find anil ambani's email id and everybody says sir how to sir no sir i don't know sir but you spent your night uh, right here looking at how to look at all that information if you get a job they will only call out one name saying sangyu gita kahan hai unko leke aao get get that lady here man ma'am can you please find anil ambani and you will say can i get some coffee please <laughs> they will supply coffee pizza burger whatever and then they will say can you did you find anil yeah we found here are three combinations of anil please go ahead and write to him wow that's power at your job uh, you know uh, and that's exactly how you should look at work as work not that monday 9 to 5 job getting a different career waiting for 130 to ring no 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 every step of it must be exciting you got to love what you're doing Uh, ask me i spent 12 hours at the office not a single minute have i said saying itna boring hai yaar 5 years mein yehi kaam kar raha hu nahi nahi main donkey ho gaya hu lekin phir bhi aisa thought has never come to me at all okay good how do we simplify it there's a company called hunter.io and now this guy does a you know fun fantastic job in terms of what uh, what what he says what he lives for previously he was uh called uh, hunter not hunter but uh, he was a different name and now he changed it to saying i am i am a hunter i can hunt email addresses for you good look at the conditions that he says if you have a company name and the website i will be able to procure email addresses for you you don't have to really do the vertical searches on google i will get it done for you oh sure is that how it is sure hunt me pi industries please did you mean pi industries yeah that's the one and it says sorry sir i do i couldn't find any results what a great tool this is why on the third module i kept saying monkeys are monkeys you know when i when we were looking at mailchimp look at the monkey the monkey i told the monkey saying monkey please find the pi industry it said sir this is the one and i said yes monkey and monkey says sorry sir no results found monkey please look for then this monkey should know right which is me my me me my monkey i am the monkey if this monkey knows that there is a result that i'll have to get in which is mailing domain and i know it's pi ind.com and then i say monkey go get this 
and monkey runs and picks up all the email addresses that I need. Look at that. And it says, sir, I found many, 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 sir. Yeah, you have to use absolutely that awareness will come in only when you put the process in place. Because if not, you'd have said the tool is useless. It doesn't give me result. No, no, the tool is fantastically working well. We just need to find the mailing domain and not the website because the company has decided to move from the website to piind.com, which is the mailing domain. Now, it also has a provision. It says, by default, I'll confuse you. I will not give you the truth because, uh, see, long time ago, they were they were just holding up with the right email and somebody figured out, which is me, control A and then it highlights, shows up the actual email ID without logging in. Those guys figured out saying if this guy is coming and picking up emails and we are not in a position to actually block him, he's not he's just even paying a single dollar. How do we block him? Oh, well, I think they, they looked at the loophole. They fixed the loophole now. This is a wrong email ID. The right one will come in only when you sign in. So let's sign in. Okay, uh, I'm a very old buddy here. So they've given me Gmail. I think now you will have to use this uh, particular plugin. Only then your uh, free account is sanctioned using a Gmail. If not, corporate ID. Okay, there you go. Now it says, hey, uh, what are you looking for? I'm looking for piind.com, please. And now it brings up and shows up the actual name of the person with the right email. The green color mark indicates that it is already validated. And it has found this in two different sources, which is another blessing again, because it's finding the repository or the footprints on Google without me having to hunt. It actually does all the job and says where it is actually found. Okay, now what else do we need? If there is more, you can go click the button saying, show me more, please. Show me more, please. And it says that that's all I have. You know, you're looking at pretty much everything. I want to export all this, please. And it says, sorry, sir, there's a pricing here. Click the pricing, get yourself upgraded. Well, you've got to be kidding me. Control A, Control C, uh, email Reaper, extract, please. All email addresses extracted. And now, there you go. Including the last email ID that was actually visible. Job done. Give me a heads up if email unter.io is clear. That's how you can simplify the job. <laughs> true ma'am it's a, it's a blessing ma'am actually just go ahead capture everything and just drop it there without any second thought it just brings up okay now uh, you know let's say mr ambani uh, was under on, on, under the under the focus right because he is going to design some uh, what do you call some equipment for uh, he's, he's kicked out hal and he's doing uh, weapon manufacturing okay good let's go and see if we were to also pitch in saying, sir, uh, if there is any crumbs we can also do, uh, a few lakhs is enough, we don't need crores, can you also help us with the project? If that, in such a case, what would you do? Well, simple. Let's go back to Google because Google holds on to all the information that we need. Um, Reliance, Reliance Group, enter. And it says Reliance ADA, okay, Anil Ambani Group or Anil Dhirubhai, Anil Dhirubhai Ambani. Okay, so that's Dhirubhai, I think. Is that the gentleman? Okay, now, Dhirubhai is the geo gentleman, I think. Uh, the one who is in uh, in Reliance. I mean, the one who actually is a Rafael, Rafael case, somebody, Rafael case. Uh, who's that gentleman? Which company does he belong to? <laughs> if anyone knows, yeah, Anil Ambani. But does he have a group? Or oh, it's just Anil Ambani, is it? Uh, Reliance group. Uh, which group he is in? Uh, Anil Okay, Anil Ambani is Reliance Industries. Oh, okay, Rill. Uh, okay, got it. So if you type in Rill, Rill, Reliance, ADA comes in. But uh, I think it's Reliance Industries, R-I-L. Okay, Rill.com. Okay, so let's go to uh, Hunter and say, buddy, Rill.com. Do you have anything? Um, yeah, Reliance Industries, that's the one I'm looking for, please. And it goes, Mukesh Ambani real.com and it goes on with all the other people inside the company and you say more more because it's not going to be easy to just directly write to him and jump in you might want to really bombard everybody else with an email saying i'm trying to reach out to anil and i'm going to actually simplify all the processes in how we can manufacture uh, weaponry uh, and and give him some uh, easier uh, factories that he can align with 
और एवरीबडी इज गोइंग टू एक्चुअली फॉरवर्ड दैट ईमेल टू मिस्टर अंबानी एंड से सर आपका व्हाट यू कॉल सेवियर इज हियर सो प्लीज व्हाई डोंट यू जो जंप इन श्योर ओके आई हैव डन इनफ नाउ माय हैंड्स आर एकिंग सो आई जस्ट गो अहेड एंड पिक अप ऑल दोस ईमेल्स बैक एंड देयर यू गो 140 ईमेल एड्रेसेस एब्सोल्युटली फ्री is this a free account absolutely 140 120 accounts uh, searches for free in a month every month they give me 120 now you will say well that's short and the answer is oh you bet me too i was also thinking in the same lines then i figured out that there are 34 similar products like email hunter each one has about 100 or 120 free this is what i found i'll share the list with you 34 different service providers each one of them actually has 100 200 for free clear bit uh, lucy lucify has now changed a different name but uh, lucify is there uh, silk prospect uh, email hunter is the same guy that we looked for and go on and it gets you 20 more alternates for email hunter and the list just piles up so i'm going to go just bring that link in for you and free to explore that's why i keep changing hosting providers to uh, get their first year offer <laughs> okay now okay so that's that's exactly how it is there's another guy very similar looking it's guy uh, this guy is called snoof.com.io you might also want to try him uh, you know this guy is new very new i think he's one year old in the system and he's trying to do his best in order to pick them up is a direct competition for your hunter.io and of course he can do anything for you in terms of how to pick up email addresses of people can you see that he's already demonstrating saying if you just download this and i will do this particular magic for you and hierarchy formation as well god bless you yes snow for you okay cool any other questions you have around your one to one extractions are you clear thoroughly sure that you will be able to confidently open up your chrome browser and so forth and be able to quickly populate list of ceos niche profiles that your company could not reach out to the next thing that you should go in ask your uh, ceo of the company saying who are you going after sir if i get you the list of ceos would you be able to sell better if you make profit will you also increase my profitability and also scale my uh, my my chart my my hierarchy levels the answer probably is sure my friend let's go get that okay so yeah the, that that's exactly how you sell we have to practice doing it to be a little more confident and uh, yes sir uh, olympics is a tough game sir whether it is tennis that you're going to play, play or badminton you're going to play you will have to practice a lot uh, and that's when you will come on tv sir yeah i will pay premium to actually see you in case if you're playing in olympics <laughs> okay cool um that, i i think uh, i pretty much given you uh, uh, all the tools and techniques that you need to know but if there is anything else that you want me to cover uh, do let me know uh, good <laughs> okay and yes yes one more tool one more big thingy guy uh, this guy is not very prominent because he is very similar to your bitcoin thingy right the big bitcoin is uh, it's a big uh, juggle between uh, taking a risk and the money getting out right so uh, me too i have not uh, gotten a single np but what i'm interested in the mining for sure i'm going to be very soon investing money on the mining devices uh, which we've made uh, yeah, we're making some uh, what do you call progression towards that we will very soon be mining information for bitcoin but not really owning bitcoins we we don't want to burn a dollars in but machineries we know how to figure them figure them out because in the next 10 years 15 years this is going to be a big big thing india is accepting it or not accepting it it's going to be somewhere that people are definitely going to find a way to actually utilize it yeah so keeping that all of the things in mind and we don't want to buy the coins and somebody comes in and takes it off i'm not but you might want to really look at that mining devices the entire technology is an awesome technology i liked one of those simplest form of explanation on linda.com uh, let me know if you guys are interested i can download that uh, video for you and send it out uh, but blockchain was very neatly defined by linda.com one of the classes that i like email marketing classes sucks uh, it it's not the right one so please don't go 
but uh, of course you can definitely look at blockchain and all the others it's an awesome way of explaining how blockchain works while i was hunting all this i stumbled upon elinda.com yeah that's the guy who trains you on uh, digital marketing name of the video uh linda.com blockchain uh, and there is multiple version one is an advanced version i picked up the basic one um okay linda.com bitcoin uh, receiving you could actually click that and then you will see bitcoin cryptocurrency technology and coursera i think you should pick up the cryptocurrency it gives you a lot of in- indications uh khan academy also is talking about it i didn't know that okay so there are some videos there you just type the keyword in saying bitcoin there are at least about four videos that comes in and out of that you pick up the first lesson on bitcoin and you will get to understand the technology strength that it actually holds now why am i talking about bitcoin is because the bitcoin guy calls the technology as block and chain blockchain now if you scrub the word out the second word called the chain and you type in block spring another wonder comes in for us for us for you and me and that wonder is this guy called prospecting tool is it come with me i'll show you how this works in 10 minutes you jump in into block uh, spring of course it's a paid solution but they give you 7 day free trial with a little credits that you can play with and so far i think i've been playing with uh, multiple logins because i simply go here uh, which is mailinator uh, mailinator and i say my name is su singh uh, singh and search okay now it says this is your mailbox sir okay got it su singh at mailinator.com is my email id so i go in here and i say sign up please okay it says what's your email id su singh which is the gentleman in adobe su singh at mailinator.com what's your username that you'd like to have su singh okay and what's your password type your password sign up no question asked it will quickly jump in and say fantastic you've been signed up successfully you get 100 uh, credits free let's know what you're trying to do data harvesting because they're doing the same so it's okay to actually define what you're here for uh, that's the purpose okay so here we go i i've done that and i'm already inside it uh, that's similar to a uh, temporary mail absolutely it's so absolutely simple N- nothing to worry it's hard to make profit while mining the resources are expensive and maintaining them is a pain did you guys come up with a better solution 16 year old is asking me some intelligent question and i have to think twice before i answer sir please stay back let me finish this piece and i'll come back this is a not can you i um, i i i love you i uh, that's all i can tell you uh, i'm coming stay with me uh, we haven't got a solution we haven't got uh, an easier way out but we're trying to develop a few uh, simple methods to get the job done uh, but we are also dependent on a lot of lot of stuff it is intelligent should be uh, should not be question no ma'am i'm definitely not <laughs> because i'm on it too oh wow uh my fingers are crossed gentlemen let me know when you're releasing it uh, we we me shubha and uh, 20 others here request a 95% discount on the product because we know you Yeah, that's a bad thing about knowing too many people. And we've been promoting your name. Yeah, so that's another piece that you'll have to. When you're releasing the product, let me know. I'm going to actually start promoting it on your behalf. Because one of the books that I got carried away 15 years ago was Ankit Padia, uh, the gentleman who broke Windows operating system into pieces, smaller chunks. And he told me saying, Windows operating system 98 has this flaw, 95 has this flaw, and 20 has this flaw. I love that book. I went to Sapna stores to actually buy that. long time ago even 1000 bucks was a little difficult for me but i am talking about that gentleman who was also a 16 year old and i'm a fan so gentlemen when you're releasing out the product you have me you have me around so i'm going to actually take a product on my shoulder and run with you let me know uh, as soon as you release that you're seeking ideas i'm coming soon after this okay so i've signed in and it says hey guys i can start scraping list for you from the scratch 
or if you have a list of domains or company names and emails or whatever you have already give it to me and i'll mine some more information for you okay that sounds like a fair deal so what i will do is i'll get an excel sheet i'll i'll get an excel sheet and drop some domains in there um, i'm going to go shut down the other programs okay so oh, okay so excel did not open it went and triggered something else uh, okay cool excel opening up um yeah microsoft and shaking with uh, with mac finally they decide to open okay good now i'm going to go just say company and i'm going to go drop in a few companies here and i'm going to say this company has oracle uh do you know anything uh, space x um what was the other guy infosys um ibm <laughs> yeah this is easy uh, hp okay so list of five companies is what i have here i want more information please i want to know how many employees i want to know the description of the company if possible a url as well and many 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 other details which are vital i just need to know about the company so can you help me uh, uh, blockchain or block spring uh, sure so i'm going to go save this as my uh, document on the desktop as a csv file uh desktop okay i'm going to go say csv doc okay and this is companies um companies dummy okay so there you go and okay i've saved that now all it says is hey guys if you already know a few things and you want me to enrich the list yes that's what we want you to do get us more info what would you like to start with um yeah probably yes bing uh, use bing and bring me company url first right or go ahead use the company name and find out more information using linkedin sure build that list for me is what i clicked on then it says tell me where your file is which is with the list of companies mm, okay so i go in here desktop and i pick up the dummy list that i have now okay i submit and within a wink it says it's ready please click here okay that was fast uh, okay now it says hey guys log into linkedin and give me access i'm not going to use one single credit out of your 100 that i gave you for free but it's absolutely free log in please sure i have a dummy uh, linkedin account for this uh, for purpose where, you know is to only do all these scrutinies and searches um i don't use my breadwinning profile okay i'm signed in and now it says uh, go ahead and uh, look for this company name company name is the field yeah add enrichment okay it's going to now hunt for the company name again probably in a better format see the way it's uh, written and the way it's actually coming up with the ticker id is also here and it says the universal ids are this along with the company urls uh companies in the under operation they're not closed down none of them as yet companies logos are given when they were founded which industry vertical they belong to employee size each one of those employee size and the type of uh, company it is public limited company private company and it goes on right uh, and the final piece is in case if there is a local number that you can get in touch with picks up the local number as well all within a wink of an eye my question is if you were to give in 500 companies or maybe you have some 100 uh, credits for default by given by given by default in 7 days you go ahead and upload as many company as you want because pinging a linkedin is absolutely free so you can go ahead and pick up as many company and all the details are being pre populated you don't have to physically feed all of them copying and pasting the this guy actually gets the job done now here's another thing i want to go ahead and use unter.io yeah the the free tool that we saw the 120 credits for free i want to use that guy to ping in email addresses as well it says i will chew up 25 credits if you're looking for 10 count of emails from each of the companies now don't go so far three each is enough okay and what is the seniority executive levels any department no executive department is what i'm looking at 25 credits taken out but here's what it's going to do, uh, come up with 
company url to email and loading the table there you go email addresses of relevant people inside the company all c level titles uh yeah c level titles can you see what i see and we're talking about uh, harvesting welcome to the club okay with this i think uh, we'll call it a day i hope you had a nice time this uh, thing is called uh, uh what do you call it? block spring easy to remember would be to blo uh, look at the blockchain your bitcoin and the technology and then come back and pull off the chain and drop a spring you get that block spring there it does wonders in picking up email addresses no problem whatsoever and look at the kind of information that you have now including the title the seniority levels that these people are in and how many times it was found on google okay good uh, i'll give you my feedback link because that's something that uh, kanchi will be eagerly looking forward for as usual practice i don't even have a minute for the feedback because i know you will give it before you leave there you go thank you very much and i wish you all the luck my contact information is given to you already but if you still um, haven't copied it leadsourcing@gmail.com this is my personal number uh, you will see my son and daughter there in that particular whatsapp messaging that you're doing that's my personal number as well i am in touch with a lot of people people who have passed out of dv 2 uh, years 3 years back i'm still in touch with them so will i be as long as i'm breathing on the planet earth thank you very much and goodbye for now and coming to the contact you guys can drop your number as well he's going to he, he has everybody except me he has everybody inside his group except except me uh, i don't know why so i i'm waiting <laughs> no i'm not coming though i am not come because i am a premium uh, what do you call i insist exclusivity now no love for you is got <laughs> uh, true uh, okay is it hard, it is hard to make profit uh, while mining uh, the resources are expensive and maintaining them is painful he is already drafting a pitch for his product uh, i understand i know where you getting did you guys come up with a better solution and the answer is no do we uh, use multiple tools and the answer is yes uh, we use multiple sources multiple uh, ways to uh, extract information and that's the only way that we have seen so far that's been successful looking at it from a data perspective right uh, there are requirements that we are looking at we have sign up with so many data companies as you could see uh, i am in uh, ubers.com I also have logins on data.com um and I don't have the local uh, logins but of course LinkedIn they kept saying it'll be nice if you go pick up a sales navigator login no I, I'm not interested because I can ping uh, LinkedIn using Google for free and harvesting information is not very difficult for me out of LinkedIn looking at the criteria that customers come up with it's def definitely very very hard to get uh people who ask for 12th pass out data which is definitely not easy to actually find unless we drop in inside the schools to get them uh there's another company which wants only restaurant owners not the restaurant guy who's go going to eat but a uh, restaurant owner it, it's again tough to uh, find such information we are currently working on a company which has asked us that and uh, to fulfill that we nearly have eight computers working with multiple scrapers running only to facilitate that restaurant owners data and uh, so far we have been uh, i mean we've come close to around 50000 records 50000 email addresses 90000 mobile numbers and we we are still working we are still working so that's the current challenge in terms of lead sourcing if you're looking at and it's not easy definitely not if you're coming up with a product gentlemen i am all ears to hear good sir wanted to ask you the name of the software that you use uh, for the class uh it is so organized is there something like uh, for windows uh you're talking about the curio this is the same thing ma'am uh, you know the, this is the same guy that i use on uh, most of the classes uh is there a typical looking one for windows no ma'am those guys have a serious challenge operating system has a problem so most of them developers good developers not there with windows uh but is there a substitute product and i think there is one that's called uh, visio 
yeah for uh, i mean it is it is for windows they don't work on mac yeah this guy does the job or any mind map tools you can pick up mind map tools for mac these guys will help you do the same sort of formatting like simple minds would get it six more 17 more many many they're saying mac and uh, uh, what do you call windows I, I don't know if it's true but you might want to check out that list so mind map would be one of the keywords you want to look for and visio is another but if you're if you're having a mac and you want another uh, alternate i think uh, there's one guy called uh, what do we use them on the desk tissue paper what do you also call them as uh, there's another some paper um yeah so paper for mac napkin thank you very much that's the one yeah that's what i was looking for napkin for mac uh this is available very similar looking a lot more cost effective in terms of getting the job done but if i if i had not gotten curio i would have definitely settled down with uh with the uh, scrapple uh, sca scapel uh, this guy this guy also does uh, an awesome uh, what do you call uh, mind mapping and he also gives me the facility to move as many times below which is what my constraints were most of the softwares could not lead me uh, beyond one page two page uh, two pages but this guy just says go ahead extend it to uh, to the extent that you want to as long as your hard drive supports it i will keep going look at the uh, illustrations that we do for customers because most of them don't understand what we say uh, through words so we like to tell them saying hey this is a week one activity week four activity and all this is done using uh, mind map tools if i want on the same page if i want more space i can just keep scrolling down and move the picture down which is what i do with uh, curio as well so i just keep moving there you go i get more space now so i can work on it and then as soon as i finish up with this space i can move furthermore this is called uh, scapel and again this is only for mac uh, if you have one for mind uh, tools or mind mapping tools for windows i think you should pick up one and start using it okay cool i hope uh, that's clearing off uh, thanks a lot had a great time thank you sir thank you for coming uh, th thank you sir and if there is one i'm not going to skip sir i will definitely be here thank you sir bye bye for now please give us the feedback before you leave anand hi uh, please give us the feedback before you leave thank you done thank you swarna and stay in touch yeah and stay in touch I'm promoting you every third module trust me uh, we we're, we're talking about you because I I want to let them know uh, this question is coming in from a from a 16 year old this is how he thinks okay I'm a great fan of yours yeah and I can proudly say this <laughs> uh we will receive a presentation on this Rachel presentation I think is already there with uh, certain keywords that you can use but if you are looking for this one uh, i will have it passed on uh, to kanji kanji will push it back push it back to you one question you have 100 solutions pleasure learning from you sir thank you ma'am thank you very much all right goodbye for now we'll see you on the other side rachel i uh, uh, you may collect that from kanchi i'll send this entire uh, you know document to kanchi and she will have it forwarded to you good night drop in and you have an awesome time as well we'll see you soon you have uh, for two modules <laughs> thank you good night harsh and and good night everybody 22 still here uh, either you left the computer on or you thinking that i'm going to actually come up with something yes if there is a question i'm definitely going to if not i'm winding up ashita good night and all of you good night for now i am just waiting for the for the number my number oh okay the numbers of all the people okay got it uh, yeah yeah i'm i'm also listening <laughs> Robin got it. 
Den sorte tårner. Mm. I would do. Uh, I missed it. <laughs> no, I was telling to be a part of his group. He's, he's not. He's not letting me inside his group, man. Huh? Uh, he is the boss there. Uh, give your number, Swarna. Uh, <laughs> so that's what we were trying to uh, hit at him, saying uh, we are not there in your group. He's getting everybody. He's saying, hey guys, let's join the group. Blah blah blah. But he hasn't asked me, saying, would you also want to be a part of the group? I'm going to come. He's going to come back with the product, isn't it? So I'm going to actually take him for a ride at that point of time. Not for now. <laughs> I think you're in the... No, I am not. I am not in that group. Not in any of his group. But it's okay. Yeah, I'll take it with a pinch of salt. <laughs> no, just kidding. Wherever you are, gentlemen, stay focused on your goals. Do everything that makes you shine. And if there's anything that I can do, don't hesitate to call. Yeah. Uh, teachers in the student group, the group doesn't then. Uh, yeah, I know that that's that's one of the reasons why I think. Mm, uh, because in uh, most of the groups I see, they keep calling out names saying, uh, you know, these guys are here. You've got to be this. You've got to be that. Uh, 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 uh. Come on. We are also humans. We would also want to smile at that Sardarji jokes that you guys send. Or... Happy birthday, Beast Bar. Bolenge. Ek admi ka birthday. Sabko group mein ek invite to ho zana chahiye. Nay, nay. Ek one after another, everybody will say happy birthday, yar. Ek new year nay aayega. Usme 20,000 new new year. Happy new year, happy new year. <laughs> I am already there, and I I know <laughs> I know what is the constraints. That that's why he's saying get out of the group. I got it. But Chuba is a great fan of him. Maybe because she's interacted with him, probably had coffees also. So I, I, I see every time she makes a mention, she has very high regards for uh, Swarna. And uh, she's a brand promoter for him too. We are just like me. We have interacted with him. Oh, okay, great. See, that's why the alignment is a lot more closer. Because he's not in Bangalore. Is good at uh, singing. Oh my goodness. Harijit Ar is also having a trouble now. I thought we were the only ones. Harijit is coming after you. <laughs> Check him on YouTube. Are you serious? W what is this material? Synthetic human bowl rahe te abhi aage, okay? Uh, I doubt. Serious, yeah. I thought only advertisement is coming. It will take another 10 years. Now I have a second thought on this. <laughs> Search. Uh, Manta CNT. Okay. Oh my God. Okay. Now this, this is really, really getting hard. See? Yeah, ma'am. And music too. Oh, boss. Swarna, you're, you're blessed. Swarna, you're blessed. The more we know about you, you, your regards, I mean, uh, our regards to you is really, really high. Boss, you're good. You're good. You stay blessed. You stay blessed, gentlemen. I'm happy to have, I, it's a privilege to actually have met you. Great. And I'm still waiting for uh, the numbers. Uh, they're coming. They're, they're, they're still typing the feedback, probably. Who's Swarna here? Ma'am, this is the guy. Uh, yes, the, yes, the picture. This gentleman is here with us right now. 
एंड इज मल्टी टैलेंटेड एक जगह छोड़ नहीं रहा है वो ऐसे करेंगे तो कि सबका जॉब कतरे में है या ओके गुड वी वुड बी सरप्राइज इफ इज इफ इज इन डिफरेंट प्लेसेस व्हिच ही वुड बी सोन बट दिस दिस गाइड नीड्स अ लिटिल मोर लाइट फ्रॉम डीवी एज वेल बिफोर वी लीव हिम एस होल्ड ऑन आई एम या वी नॉट लीविंग हिम नेहा Hold a second. I'm actually I, I he doesn't like limelight. I'm going to throw light. Stay with me. Is it still with your uh, nose? He's a 16 year old. <laughs> oh, that's that. I'm not sure. So they will delay certification. Is what he's saying? No, I don't think so. Uh, I will also drop <laughs> drop an email to uh, Kapil. These guys are going to go get in touch with you. Okay, I I've done my piece. So what they will do is, they're gonna come after you and uh, find and dig a little more about you. Don't worry about your certification if that's uh, what you're worried about. I I don't think that's the least thing that you can get out of us. But uh, you need uh, some special attention. So which will come? Which will come? Okay, I've done my piece. You have a great day then, and gentlemen, stay in touch. I think you're too late. Uh, the flight took off. <laughs> Okay, it it may have. Wait, Swarna, wait, Swarna, keep quiet and sit down, uh, man. We are promoting you, chill. Yeah, but the flight has not gone. Where is he? Uh, he has spoken to couple two on the phone. Oh, okay. Okay, so good. I'm I'm sure they they also must be looking at saying what are they doing in in his side. We'll see. We'll see. Okay so you have a good day while I enjoy this music yeah and I'll I'll close my day saying what was I doing in the in the last 16 20 years anyway goodbye for now uh, we'll see you soon on the other side bye bye